In this video, we are going to talk about fleas. This is a conversation I have time and time again in the concert room. Fleas can cause a lot of discomfort for cats, and they can be frustratingly difficult to get rid of from your home. We are going to talk about how to tell if your cat has fleas, and then later I will tell you the key to getting rid of fleas in your home. No, there is nothing embarrassing about having fleas. It comes with the territory of having pets. Cats can pick up fleas from catteries, from other cats, or simply from being outside. Having fleas does not mean that your cat or your home are dirty. Almost all pet owners have had fleas at least once, me included. It is very common and it in no way reflects badly on you as a cat owner. Sometimes this can be challenging because cats who are allergic to fleas will groom a lot and they often groom off all of the fleas and the flea dirt so you do not find any evidence of fleas on your cat. Cats who are not allergic will not do this so in these cats you will find fleas and flea dirt if you comb them. Cats often develop flea allergic dermatitis. This is where they overgroom because of the itch of having fleas and they even become bold in certain areas. The most typical areas are the base of the tail, the inner thighs and their tummy. This pattern of boldness is highly suggestive of fleas. One of the other ways to tell if your cat has fleas is to use a fine tooth comb to groom them. You may find some small pieces of black dirt on the comb after grooming. And it can be difficult to tell if this is flea dirt or just regular dirt, but the way to tell is to put some of this dirt onto a white piece of paper and then wet it with a small amount of water. You leave it aside for about 30 seconds and then see what happens. Flea dirt is digested blood, so flea dirt will bleed into the white paper and turn the paper a brownish red colour. Regular dirt will not do this. If you find any of this on your cat, it means that your cat has fleas. Even if you just find one or two, it still means that your cat has fleas because they are likely to have groomed off much more of this from their coat. If you understand the flea life cycle, you will know everything that is required to get rid of fleas for good. Adult fleas live on your cat. A female adult flea can lay many eggs per day, and these eggs will fall off your cat and can be found anywhere in your home, but in particular in places where your cat regularly rests. Eggs then hatch into larvae, and these larvae can move, and they do not like light, so they are found deep in rugs and under furniture. After a few days of growing, the larvae make themselves a lovely cosy cocoon, and within that cocoon they become an adult flea. This is really similar to the caterpillar and the butterfly. Adult fleas can lay dormant within their cocoon for up to two years, and they will hatch out in response to a trigger eventually. These triggers include vibration and heat, so your cat walking past can trigger them to hatch, and so will turning on the heating in the autumn. And this is why we see a huge spike in fleas in the autumn. All parts of the life cycle can be killed using an insecticide, except for the cocoons. And this is the key mistake that people make when trying to get rid of fleas in their home. They do not realise that the cocoons can lay dormant in their home for up to two years. You can trigger these to hatch out before treating your home by turning up the heating and vacuuming to cause vibration, but it is unrealistic to think that you will cause every single one to hatch out. So it is essential to keep treating your cat for fleas once you have had fleas in your home. Your cat is then flea bait for these cocoons and they will all eventually hatch out, but in the meantime you will continue to see an occasional flea on your cat. When you treat your home, it is also essential to treat every single room, because remember that larvae can move, and you can also carry larvae and eggs on your shoes and socks. And you will also need to treat all surfaces. If you think that fleas do not live on wood or lino or tiles, you are mistaken. I am certain they will live on the moon if given the opportunity. You also need to wash all blankets, and do not forget to treat your cat's carrier if that has been used. I recommend that you use a flea product that you buy from your vet or from the pharmacy. There are many non-prescription products on the market and some of them are not very effective against fleas or they only kill fleas for one or two days. If you are having trouble getting rid of fleas in your home and you have treated your home, it is likely that the product that you are using is not very effective. In this case, please ask your vet to prescribe an effective product for you. And you should never use a flea product that is made for dogs, as some of these can contain compounds that are highly toxic to cats. Dog flea products are perfectly safe for dogs, but they can cause death in cats due to the differences between dog and cat metabolism. I hope this video has better equipped you to get rid of fleas in your home. The key to getting rid of fleas in your home is to assume that they are still fleas in your home. Because if you have had fleas in your home within the past two years, it is likely that you still have dormant cocoons. Treating your cat with an effective flea product according to your vet's instructions will also help to solve the problem. 
And if you see an occasional flea on your cat, that is okay. It means that there is one less in the environment and it will die before reproducing because your cat is treated. I have more resources on my website, allcats.co.uk. And if you have topics that you would like to see a video on, please let me know and I'll be happy to make one for you. See you in the next video.